Hey gang, FLX Beer Reviews, back again with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. I'm Dan. I'm Mike. Dan, re-review. There's no way we haven't reviewed this beer before, So, but just remind me, what are we drinking? <laughs> Unfortunately, we have never reviewed the original OG Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. Well, that's insanity. Uh, All right. <clears throat> What something. a gorgeous, a gorgeous classic gorgeous, looking can. Gorgeous. You know it immediately. Uh, this is classic beer. Uh, this is probably one of the first. Okay, so it's a pale ale, right? Uh, but first IPAs I've ever yeah. drank. Ba back in the early days of drinking craft beer. Yeah. Uh, so Sierra Nevada, they're out of uh, Chico, Chico, California, California. and uh, Mills Chico's. River, North Carolina. Family owned, operated, and argued over. So yeah, this is a uh, 5.6 ABV. And this was packaged on 5-13-2024, so we're about a few months in. Uh, but yeah. Let's dive in. So Let's... I remember thinking this was like the most bitter thing I had yeah. ever drank in when I was first getting into like hoppy beers. Yep. And now I'm just like, I can't get enough of this stuff. <laughs> Yet I don't drink nearly enough. And Sierra, ne Sierra Nevada is like the quintessential... Just like great quality beer that you can find everywhere. every time, consistent. You know what I mean? All day long. Consistency to a T. Look at that. That is an orange marmalade, fruity looking yellow orange. Yeah. Nice foamy head. Nice on compact it. bubbles. Uh, slightly khaki head. I mean, it's it's through and through what a pale ale classic uh, it just looks, looks like. Classic. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, let's get a whiff. Get a whiff. Oh yeah. There is that. This grassy yeah. orange citrus that uh, I hated when I was young. I didn't say it, but fully hopped with uh, Cascade oh, yeah. hops. Cascade. So, uh, and two row um, and pale malt. So, Cascade. Love. The first hop I ever really knew a name of. <laughs> so, like, the first thing you get is you, you get that kind of nice, uh, a little bready character. Yep. Right? And then it, you get a really big waft of, like, some, like, dank, herbaceous, like, sweet citrus. Yes, I always, I always think that dark hundred percent wheat bread with some jam jelly just yeah. spread across it, and it smells great. Let's get into it. Cheers, God, I love this beer. <laughs> this is a time. I'm trying right to be partial for the review, but you know. Here's one thing: mm. Sierra Nevada always nails. Okay, uh, well, not always, but generally. ABV five point six. Mm -hmm. Nice and full for the ABV. Mm -hmm. Nice full mouthfeel. Body's still a little light and crisp, which makes it drinkable. Uh, it's not too syrupy. Definitely that classic West Coast influence. Yes. I, I think it's a very nice balance of your West Coast bitter, citrus, pine, spruce notes. Yeah. But there is a little candied sweetness, just to break that up. It, it's easily drinkable. Um, the, the flavors just coat your entire mouth for just a few seconds and then it kind of glides away so you can enjoy the sip before you go back in for the next one. You know, as you drink it on the palate, it's like, it, it's weird because like the carbonation, it, it's there, mm -hmm. but it, it's it's minuscule at the same time. So it's it's throughout, but it doesn't detract from the overall beer, yep. which I really enjoy. It, it, it's it's freaking classic, dude. It is. It like it tastes like classic. That's I tell what you what, is. if somebody's want to get into hoppy beers or IPAs and stuff, nowadays you probably give them like a New England hazy because it's less probably. bitter. Get into that, but I I would say definitely do yourself a favor and pick this one up oh, if yeah. you've not had it because this is going to give you an idea of the OGs, the trendsetters, you know where it all came from, and they're just quality through and through. I can't say enough. I, I agree with you. Uh, I, I think I, I get like a really nice white grape note in there too, like right off the vine. I yeah. you can pick up a twelve pack of this for like eighteen bucks at your local store. I'm glad uh, you brought that up. The price point of this is just yeah, you can't beat it. And then you come along their mix packs and everything like that, and that's just oh, you should see me. Like <laughs> I'm like I'm out there mowing the lawn, right? And I'm like I finally get done. I I, I do everything I do. Weed whack. I come inside. And I'm immediately, I'm like, grab me a Sierra Nevada. I go out on the front porch. I sit in my rocking chair. I look across at the, the golden sky. Get feel that summer breeze wafting. And I just experience it and just sit there and enjoy it. It's just like the ultimate thirst quencher after a long day at work. Oh, I'm long. Enough said. 12-ounce can. Can't yeah. go wrong. All right, gang. Uh, 
Well, we didn't even read it. I've read this so many times. Yeah, I don't even know. For me, I, it's it. four four two five. I was gonna say I'm going like four five. I okay. love this beer. Right. It's a freaking West Coast Heady Top. I probably got it a three point seven five for like based on the, like the scope of. I Sierra feel like Nevada's, it's one of those like but... the first time you ever reviewed it. Mm -hmm. It was still early, but yeah. yeah. Down in the description, leave a comment. Do you love Sierra Nevada? Sierra Nevada Palau. You yeah. should. Um, okay. Cool. Thanks for watching, everybody. See ya. Cheers.